Welcome to The Unrealist. This is Chris. On a recent project, I needed to be able to synchronize game events to my music soundtrack. The technique I used is actually pretty simple, but as with many things in Unreal Engine, it may not be obvious if you haven't had to do it before. In this video, I'll walk you through the technique. To get us started, I've built a little scene that has some basic functionality that we can build on top of. Let's run that and take a look at what's in place right now. The way the scene works is when I press the number keys, it spawns these balloon animals, each number key corresponding to a different color. The way that I'm accommodating this is I've created a custom blueprint called the balloon spawner. Let's open the level blueprint to see how I'm using it. So you can see here I have a reference to the balloon spawner and that that object exposes a function called spawn balloon, which takes a single color parameter. Right now I just have this hard coded to the numeric input keys, but we're going to change that so it synchronizes with our audio track. We'll start by importing our music track. We're going to use Unreal's new sequencer animation tool to accomplish our synchronization. So right click and choose animation and create a new level sequence. Double click the sequence to open it. This is the sequencer timeline. To begin, we'll add an audio track. Click the Audio Plus button and select our soundtrack asset. I'm going to zoom out until I see the whole audio waveform, and I'm going to extend the timeline to encompass the whole audio file. I'll go ahead and play this so you can hear what it sounds like. So we want the balloons to be spawned on each one of those snare and woodwind accents. So let's take the playback head back a bit. And I'm going to play to just the first hit. Now we'll add an event track to our sequence. With the playhead in the right position, we'll insert a keyframe. Then right click on the keyframe, choose properties, and here we can give our event a name. We'll call it spawn red. I'll back the playhead up again and get the next accent. And we'll repeat the same steps. For the next two accents, we want to use a different event name so that we can spawn a different color balloon. We'll call this Spawn Blue. We'll just do those four keyframes for now to make sure it's working the way we want it to. I'm going to switch over to the content browser, and I'm going to drag my event sequence into the scene. The position doesn't really matter, but we do want to make sure that we set it to autoplay. Now let's switch back to our level blueprint, and we'll get rid of the hard-coded input events. In order to tap into those events that we just defined in our sequence timeline, we're going to right click and choose to create a custom event. And we'll use the same name as the first event that we defined in our timeline. 
So we have our spawn red event. And I'll do another custom event. That will be spawn blue. Let's compile that and check it out in the scene. It works just the way we want it to. I'll go through quickly and add the remaining event keyframes to our sequence. Okay, I've added all the keyframes and I'm back in the level blueprint. I just need to add one more event for spawning green balloons. Let's compile that and we'll look at the finished result. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have suggestions for other topics you'd like to see covered, please leave them in the comments. Also, let me know what you thought of this video by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and please consider subscribing to the channel while you're here. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.